Hi everyone, I'm playing another 25 minute game on ICC. Looks like I got paired down again. Mr. Tsehan with 1309. And it's playing King's opening. I'm going to have either an Italian game or a Rui Lopez, that's Italian. So we're going to play the line we always play. That's a very early A3. It is unusual. It does change some things. For example, if I play Knight F6, ah, this is not my opening for Persuade, by the way, because hardly anyone ever plays it, so it must not be a good move. Probably not bad. Um, maybe I should play B5 straight away. No, I can't. Um, so usually I play knight f6, and then white can play b4 himself, and then I can get away with like bishop b4 check. Meaning I have to take. Maybe I'll just take. Let's just play knight. It must be correct to just develop the knight. Maybe there's something better. Not sure. Oh, okay, he's gonna develop that knight. Let's play logically. Ah, defend his e4 pawn. Prevent me from playing d5. Maybe try and play bishop to g5. But h6 is always a good move for him, for black. But I'm thinking. Well, oh, is he going to try and grab my bishop? Maybe a6 to stop knight to a4, trying to get that bishop. He's also kind of letting me play knight to g4, maybe. Maybe knight to g4 is possible, but he will just castle, right? And uh, I don't really want to give away two pieces for a pawn in the rook. If I play a6, I've essentially just forgiven his a, a3 move. a6, d4, take. I don't really want to take, but... I guess after I take, I can play maybe d5? No, I can't, can I? So maybe d6 is better. Very annoying opening he's playing. Um, yeah, it's good to know the exact line uh, so you don't have to think too much in this first he moves. But let me see. I don't think castles can be bad here. Castles, rook to e8. I'm not liking d4. I can play queen to e7. Bishop to b6. No. Yeah, I can always win that pawn back, right? I can just play knight to g4 and claim it back. If needed, maybe this. I'm gonna go with this. So I can go back to a7. If I need to. If he plays d5, I can go back to a7 maybe and then play knight to g4. Get that pawn back. Okay. Well, now I'm gonna play like this. Maybe I could play this, no I can't. <clears throat> I don't want a castle. Yeah, I want a castle. Let's just castle. <clears throat> A6 
page six. Stop any funny pins. Do that. So, so far I think white's played pretty well. All logical moves, nice little system. Now, they don't usually develop a bishop for a long, long time though. Or if they do, they put it on e3. So, that's the first move that I'm kind of thinking is a little bit doubtful. Maybe I should start playing knight to e7, knight to g6. That could be an idea. Now, if I move knight to e7, then this pawn is hanging. So maybe first d6. He moves the bishop again. Okay. Now that's definitely unusual. When I take. I don't want to take because he gets an open pile against my king. It's not the best. Move back to e7. I guess so. I mean, what should I take? I'm just going to go back to e7. I kind of, um, well, actually I was going to say I should have played knight to a5, but he can just go back to a2 with the bishop. I have to look up what the best response is when somebody plays so slow with a3. I mean, was that okay? Hmm. He's wasted a tempo on his bishop, so black should be at least okay here. At least. Although white will say that they've developed all their pieces, whereas my bishop in c, um, c8 is kind of undeveloped. Maybe I could play b5, bishop b7. Or should I play knight to e7, knight to g6? Is he gonna play d4 next? Um, he is ready to play d4. Well, yeah, he is. Plays d4. I play knight to g6. Takes, takes. He trades queens. Maybe I play b5, bishop to b7. Can't really play d4 yet because then I'm the pawn might hang. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. Let's do it. Let's do this. Bishop there. Let's see, bishop b3. So I could move my knight attacking his bishop again. And when he moves again, I could play c5. 
that weakens my defense square a lot. But I'm gonna play Bishop here. Like I plan to like I plan to. Now maybe knight to e. Well, okay. Um, what's your point? Okay, he's. Is he gonna take my knight on f6? And do I mind? I can just take back with my queen. Can we get an attack going? Do I take? Is he really gonna take with the bishop? What about if I take takes with the bishop? I play knight to a5. He's probably gonna move the bishop back. Then I can play c5. Then knight back, and then the knight to to b4. Maybe I can play knight to a5 and force him to trade. And is my queen better in f6? My queen is okay in f6, I think. Yes, it is. Check. I wonder if c5 is worth it here, and then I can um, then I can start playing with f5 after I move my, my knight back. Let's do it. He doesn't have a knight to go on b5 anymore, so I don't mind that much. Queen e7. Okay, I didn't analyze that. Well, I'm obviously don't, I obviously don't want to take. I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna have to take this way. Okay. I was gonna play queen here anyway. So queen e7, protecting e5 and c5, and my bishop on b7. He still can't play knight through h4, so that's good. Okay. I don't really want to trade bishops. Mr. Sehan is playing really well. I don't think um, he's made a, a serious mistake yet. He's wasted a few tempos. I don't think I've been playing bad. I think my position is good. It's just when you're playing a lower rated player, you always want it to be even better. Um, I'm not sure that's good for him. I mean, okay, my black bishop is pretty bad. I guess that is his his bishop is pretty mighty fine, isn't it? Maybe I can play b4. 
the night night takes. If he trades, I think he might also play just queen to a4. I could technically play knight to maybe I should play knight to d4. If he takes, I can take with an e pawn, and then my bishop can go to um. Well, if I play knight to d4, he takes my bishop. I can take his knight, and then I can recover the bishop. Ooh, that's not that's not too great. Hmm. Is he really gonna take on b5? He might. Um, if I play b4. He can take, and um, his rook is in, in the game as well, right? So, not particularly enticing. Knight d4, knight takes, or bishop takes. I can play e takes, maybe. That could be fine. Yeah, that's definitely fine, I think. Um, but if he takes my bishop, I have to take his knight so I don't lose a pawn, right? If I take back the bishop, he wins the... the Maybe I'll do that next move. Maybe I should play one of my rooks to, to e8. I'm gonna try that, I think. This. Next move I can play knight to d4. If he wants to trade pawns, we can. So glad I'm playing 25 minute games because otherwise I'll have 5 minutes left now. And in 5 minutes I'll definitely be feeling the pressure a lot more. I have 15 minutes left now. Um, this should definitely be at least drawing for black. I get the feel. Now he wants to, to take that. Well now knight to d4 might be better. Um... I don't want to lose that pawn though. Maybe rook to b8. Yeah, if, if 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 we do that, he might. I think I'm gonna go for that rook to b8. Rook to b8, queen uh, pawn takes, pawn takes, queen takes. Then I can play knight to d4. I think attacking his. Queen, well, my bishop's kind of blocking it. Knight to d4, attacking his queen. Well, not attacking his queen yet. Well, with a knight. I think that should be that should be okay. I mean, it can't be good for his queen to be there. So let's do that. I think, yeah. If you want to take, go for it. So now I'm thinking this. If he takes my knight. Let's try this. That's what I was thinking. Maybe it was a better move. I'm attacking his knight. He doesn't want to lose that knight with check. This is the position I had in my head. I didn't really calculate after, say, knight takes, bishop takes. Maybe he can play something weird. But I thought if knight takes, I can take with a pawn attacking his bishop. And um, and then I'm probably gonna win this bishop because once I take that bishop with this bishop, that's a discovered attack on his queen, and that's not not good for him. So. 
I think in a tournament game I'll check this tactic a bit more. But here it looks like it's working. Okay, so he gets out of that pin straight away, attacking my bishop. So now I can take his knight with check. And then I can take that bishop. And his pawn structure is absolutely destroyed. My bishop is defended, and I'm not sure it's worth that one pawn he won from me. I wonder if there's anything better than knight takes knight, which is completely shattering his king side. Well, my, my bishop's under attack. If I play bishop takes now, no, I'm gonna play knight takes. Check. Now I'm gonna take this bishop. Now everything is protected. And his king is not looking good. Maybe he can have a double attack on those two weak pawns somehow. We'll see. Well, I can ha I have a double attack on um, b5 and h3. But he can um, maybe just take. Now, we'll just take that pawn away. Maybe now rook e to c8, defending that pawn a bit more. Bishop to b6. Mm. So this should definitely be winning for black. I think I'm, I might, I might down a pawn still though. I am down a pawn, but he, I'm, I should recover it. And um, he has so many weaknesses. Maybe rook to b8 instead of rook to c8. How is he defending b5? Um, how is he defending that? He isn't, is he? Is it worth it for my rook to go like that? Should I overprotect my pawn and then play queen to b7? If I overprotect my pawn, he might play queen to a5 and then just save that pawn and that pawn could be dangerous so I think I'm just gonna go for it now maybe I should play with a queen though now if I move the queen now I lose my pawn well maybe I can play queen here queen to d6 he's not queen to d6 if he plays the rook over I can play my rook over defending that pawn and next step I'm taking that I believe now if I play queen to d6, I lose my bishop. Let's not forget that. That would not be good. So I'm gonna play this. Now I can just take. Now what was the plan? I can go up on next move. Well, he would get it back. Yeah, I get it. Maybe I should play. I, I might play. I might try f5. Oof, it weakens that diagonal a lot. Here, I mean, I have a chance to play f5, f4. That looks very uncomfortable for him. He is defending d3 and he's getting ready to double up. Hit on my bishops there. I really do. Those two rooks in that diagonal look look fancy. I could maybe exploit that somehow. It doesn't look like it. I really don't like that bishop. But if I play f4, he plays the rook over, I play f f4 he takes the pawn and after all the trades 
We might be getting muted. So let's try that. I think I calculated a bit too fast there. Okay, he's running away. That's fine. But now I can just play this, right? Just getting his bishop out of that annoying square. Let's do that. I mean, now I want to just play rook to d8. With lots of dangerous ideas. And he's probably going to play the queen to um, a6 or a b5, defending it. And I really want my queen to be able to move. I like my rook from b from b8 though. Don't really want to move it. Maybe I can play queen, queen to d7 now. I think I can. Yeah, let's do that. Queen to d7. Yeah, so look, uh, I'm attacking h3. I can take that with check, with check. <laughs> and uh, I can take d3 as well. It's a double attack. Um, and this is what happens when your pawn structure is really, really bad, like like his is now, because he had to take on f3. And uh, people can exploit that. Even though I was down a pawn temporarily, um, it gives me play, which is what I want. Now he's saying that he doesn't care if I take that pawn because he can attack me on that side or something. Is that what he's saying? I could infiltrate now with rook to um to b2 as well. could play c4 after that it's gonna get sharp and I only have nine minutes I don't really want to take h3 my queen will just leave the action well oh, hold on if I play c4 I'm attacking his queen that's really good Right, I didn't even realize that. I was looking at, at attacking his pawn. I mean, this has to be good. Discovered attack on his queen. I didn't. I, I was thinking of playing c4, but I didn't. I must have thought it subconsciously that I'll be attacking his queen, but I was actually looking at just taking the d3 pawn or his bishop if he takes. Yeah, this is this should be over for white very quickly now. Um, he's just giving me his queen. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, he didn't notice that. Game over. Um, starting today, I am not going to use an engine when analyzing games. So I'm just going to have a look at it as it is. But I think I'm going to use this design feature. Let me flip it. Actions. Flip. Okay, so here's all book book moves. This is all fine for me. And here, number four, a three. I haven't seen this at this stage. It's a bit early to play a three. Um, it usually white plays, and it's what I play is c three. Um, C3 supports D4 later on, which you know White does want to do. I think he had opportunity to play it anyway. Um, so here, I don't know if there is something stronger than what I did. 
that would be interesting to see. Okay, I'm allowed to look at the engine after I analyze it myself quickly. Okay, so play a six here. Yeah, again, I'm not sure I'm playing the strongest moves, but I'm playing okay moves. I mean, black is fine. Yeah, so here white is wasting time. He should have maybe it was a misclick. Maybe he meant to play bishop to e3 straight away. Uh, bishop to d2. What was the point? Uh, I don't see a point. So. Yeah, maybe that was just a, an unfortunate misclick, and he lost a tempo, which is not the end of the world, but, you know. And here I decided to go for this plan, d5. I've seen it played before, and then put the bishop in d7. Uh, another plan is to play knight to e7, knight to g6, and then try and attack white on that side, which I think could have worked as well, but... I decided to play on this side today anyway. I'm not sure if it's the best thing. And I'll have a look at it with the engine after this. So. Check. I think I saw logical moves. I like my queen on f3, f6 because his knight can't get to h4 and to f5, which is what white would like to achieve sometimes in this position. If, knight, if white can get a knight on f5 and, uh, and the queen out here, he has an attack on my king. And, uh, I don't like having attacks on my king, so I thought I'd do this since Ming again black looks com completely fine. Um, he plays, keeps the bishop, probably correct. Um, and I play this, just trying to get control of d4, maybe put my knight there. And I thought actually my plan here was to bring my queen back and start pushing my pawns on the king side. If he didn't do anything on this side, but he did. And this is probably a good move, d4. And he, I mean, at this point, it looked like he had some good initiative going. And actually, I would say even maybe white is better, and whether the engine agrees. I wasn't too happy with what I've done. Why? Because his bishop's attacking. My bishop is basically defending, or, you know, has no scope. His knight's attacking my weak pawn on e5. Um, his bishop is very, very nice. I don't want to take that bishop because he gets a protected fast pawn. And, that kind of thing. White looks good. Uh, but I was going to play knight to, to d4 and get rid of that bishop anyway. And maybe open the e file by taking from e2 to d4. And I thought maybe he'll be okay. That was my plan here. But when he does that, I, I knew he wanted to win my weak pawn on b5. And that pawn was going to be weak the whole game, so he didn't have to rush. And I think that was his, his, his problem. And I put my rook on the same file as his queen. I knew that you know that lends itself well to tactics, and I was not expecting him to take because it looks dangerous. I mean, I calculated a few moves ahead here, and I knew that this just looked nasty for white, and something should be happening. Um, he does take, and then I play this, and I don't know what his best move here is. I mean, he takes the knight. I take with a, with a c pawn. I mean, he takes knight, takes knight. I take with a c pawn, and then his bishop's under attack, and he's gonna lose a piece. Well, he's not gonna lose a piece, is he? Ah, uh, oh, if I take with an e pawn, he would lose a piece. Yes. Yeah, so he can't take with a knight. He takes with a bishop. He takes with a bishop, I mean, I guess I was just going to take back, uh, he, and that's probably his best move, take with the bishop. Fortunately, he decided to get his queen out of there, and made it easy for me. Check. Now, even though I'm down a pawn, his pawn structure here is so bad, his king is open, I thought that I should be able to make something happen, and I did. Yeah, I mean, after I take the bishop now... Yeah, I still isolate the pawns here, and I isolate the pawn on the h-file, on the a-file, double that pawns. Uh, I have my connected pawns around my king, and I'm happy with that. And as you saw in the game, his d-pawn fell quite quickly. And after this, I think black is better. And here, <coughs> I mean, I think he should probably go for that game, in game I said, where he just doubles up and then takes c5. But he lets me play a 4, and that's his last mistake, I believe. He shouldn't have let me do this. Now his bishop's terrible. 
Um, he can't move that pawn on, on d3 because it's bishop hangs. It's just not looking good. His rooks have no coordination. He can't go to the d1 square because I'm controlling it. Um, yeah, it's not looking good. And yeah, quick game over now. Yeah, I wasn't. Uh, I mean, uh, there would be a time when I would be like, oh, look, h3 pawn is hanging. Let's take it. But I think I've improved a bit. So fortunately, I saw. Let's look for something better. And um, yeah, c4 is just crushing because. If he moves his queen to actually, his, his queen is completely trapped, isn't it? Isn't it? I think it is. His best. Oh no, wait. Actually, he has the a6 square. A6 square. But then I could play maybe. Either way, he blunders here. So game over. Quickly get the engine on. So apparently white is fine here. Knight f6 is the best move. That was what I played, so that's okay. It's that's fine. Yeah, so now the game is already equal. The computer probably wants c3 or or something else. D3. D3, maybe knight d2, so that eventually you can play c3 and, and d4. So b5 is recommended, um, that's great already, but I think I played d6 first, which is okay, fine. Bishop takes an i3 is, is okay, yeah, but I don't really like playing against that structure. Um, I mean, black would be a little bit better there, it's not, it's basically essentially almost the same. Bishop d7, oh well, doesn't, doesn't seem to mind b5. Okay, that's all and the engine analysis I'm going to do for today. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.